So have you ever wondered how the best players in the world seem to be able to achieve so much speed through their downswing, create such a good impact, yet they don't flip the club down at the bottom? And you may well have seen yourself doing that on video. Well, today we're gonna to show you exactly how they do that with a very, very simple drill, and all you're going to need is an alignment stick. So creating a good uh, and an improved impact position should always really be the ultimate goal when you're practicing. Whatever you do in your backswing transition or downswing should really be in order to improve your impact. And the best players in the world, whilst they might have some weird and wonderful swings, will all have incredibly functional and good impact. And today we're gonna to give you a really simple drill to help you stop that flip. So what is a flip and why do we want to stop it? Well, a flip is effectively when the club head passes the hands far too early or far too much through the impact area. We get this lead wrist kind of buckling. We very often see the elbows kind of separating and splaying. And if you've ever videoed your goal swing, this is very, very common. It's not what we tend to see with the best players. The best players at impact tend to have the handle lent forward by a good amount. They tend to have the elbows very, very close. They tend to have the arms structured. And that sort of position almost maintains two to three feet past the golf ball. And if we took a snapshot of a golfer who plays fantastic golf just after impact and a golfer who struggles just after impact, we'd see quite a few differences. So we're gonna do a little drill. We're gonna do an exercise with an alignment stick. But before we do that, we're just gonna go through a little demonstration with this towel. And in order for us to work on this impact, we're gonna discuss acceleration or speed, which we're potentially all trying to get in our golf swing, and certainly the best players have that. But something which is not often talked about is deceleration, so how fast we slow down our body parts. Now, if I had this towel, I'm just gonna wrap this around my hand. If I was to try and crack this towel, it wouldn't really matter how quickly I move my hand towards, let's say, the camera, if I never slowed that hand down. So if I move my hand towards that camera, I'm really gonna struggle to put any speed in the end of that towel. What I really need to do is put as much speed as I can towards the camera, but then decelerate my hand, slow it down, almost pull it back towards me. And if I do that, that enables me to get a lot more energy out into the end of the towel and create that snapping motion. Cracking a whip is exactly the same. So acceleration is great, absolutely, but deceleration is almost as important. And that's really what we're gonna train in this little exercise, both acceleration and deceleration. Now I did a video probably a, almost a month back, maybe even more, about impact. And this was this is kind of following on from that. I'll link that in the corner. I'd love you to go and watch that one if you haven't seen it. But this is really taking that up a notch and adding the speed. I've got myself an alignment stick here. You should all have something similar to this. And I'm gonna just grow it down a little bit because it's probably longer than my golf club. So the exercise here, very simple. You can do this at home. You can do it in the garden. You can do it anywhere where there's enough space to swing this alignment stick. And the goal here is to make some golf swings and create as much speed as I can just prior to impact. Now with the alignment stick, you'll actually hear it make a kind of whooshing noise. But what I really want to try and do is stop the stick as quickly as I can, target side of the golf ball. Many of the golfers who flip, who really struggle with that impact, it's because everything is so much geared around getting the club head to the target and accelerating that club head all the way. Now, the reason we're doing this exercise is for me to slow this stick down and decelerate it, I really have to use all of the muscles through my body. If I don't do that, I'm gonna find this incredibly difficult. So we're looking for two things here, as much noise as we can create in the stick prior to the ball, and then stopping the stick as quickly as we can just post impact. Let me show what that would look like. So I'm just hovering my stick above the ground here. So let's have a go. Okay. And effectively that will be the little exercise. Now, what we should start to find is that as you work on that and you practice that, you will really feel how your lower body, your hips, your torso, your shoulders, your arms, your hands, are really having to work pretty hard to control and stop that alignment stick. And we know that this happens in the best players in the world. We know that the lower body will start to rotate and they have quite a high speed of rotation. That rotational speed gets transferred to the upper body and the torso. But what's not often talked about is those things, those body parts will, will very, very quickly decelerate 
to enable the speed to move out through your arm, through the club shaft, down into the club head. And that's really what creates the speed. But it's that structured body movement that allows me in that little exercise to control that club, or in this case, the stick, just after impact. What might you find? Well, might you find the first time you do this, you accelerate the stick, but you really struggle to control it, target side of the ball. If you do this little exercise and that happens, that should really kind of ring those alarm bells that this is a drill that you need to work on because you might be in a position where you can create the speed, but you're unable to control that speed and create that structured impact, which is really what's gonna give you the great results out on the golf course. So great little exercise. I love this one because you can do it at home, you can do it in the garden. And notice this strong line between my lead arm and the alignment stick. What I've done is I've, from here, I've accelerated the alignment stick, but I've kept that structured so it doesn't pass on the way through. Can you take that into a golf shot? Well, absolutely. And actually what we can do is get you to hit some little shots out there. I've got my seven iron here. We're on the par three. Uh, I certainly won't reach the green here, but I can make a little swing where I'm really trying to achieve the same thing. I'm trying to accelerate the club head, but really control this follow through position. Okay, and whilst I didn't reach the green, that's probably gone some 120, 130 yards. And just look at that structure position I've achieved there. That's what we're after. What we're really trying to avoid is this really uncomfortable looking flip that, as I say at the start, many of you will have seen on camera if you videoed your golfing. So that would be what I would class as stage two. Stage one is the alignment stick. Stage two is to bring the golf club back in and bring the ball back in work on those little low shots with a structured follow through. And then ultimately we can put that through to full speed. Now at full speed, I really don't want to work that hard that I'm trying to stop the club on the way through. I want to let the club finish nice and full, but those same ideas should help me create a nice structured impact. And that one might even go in. A little short, but a good light. Impact. Trust me, if you want to improve your golf, it has to be done through impact. Improving your impact is really the best way to improve your ball striking, your distance, your consistency, and just your enjoyment out on the golf course. So try that little exercise with the alignment stick. I really believe it'll give you a better concept of impact and it'll help you improve yours. Thanks for watching. Use your stuff is down below. There's a like button down there. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Subscribe to the button over here. I really believe these videos can help you play some better golf. And I really hope to see you back here again soon for a future video. Thanks for watching.